Now, a decades-long study of killer whales off the North Pacific coast has revealed that raising sons is an exhausting experience for mothers, leaving them much less likely to produce future offspring. The research suggests they are a lifelong burden on their orca mothers. Here's our science correspondent, Victoria Gill. The closest of bonds. In killer whale family life, offspring stay by their mother's side for years. But sons are particularly dependent on mum, remaining with her well into adulthood. Mothers even feed their much larger adult sons fish. I'm really interested in just how important that bond is for the survival of these. We visited this area of the North Pacific coast with these researchers five years ago and discovered what decades of studying the killer whales here had revealed. Following generations of orcas showed the scientists how vital older killer whale mothers and grandmothers are to their pod. But this new research has revealed that close family bonds come at a cost to females. If we've shown that mothers support their adult sons throughout their life, this support they provide carries a significant cost. They're less likely to have future calves after they've had a son. So put another way, when mothers have a son, they're more likely to stop reproduction. The scientists think that mothers invest so much energy in their male offspring because the biggest, oldest males tend to father most of the new calves in a killer whale group. But as well as an insight into the complex, close-knit lives of these intelligent marine mammals, the findings could help to protect them. This population, the southern residents, is at risk of extinction from pollution and overfishing of the salmon they rely on. Understanding how much it costs to care for the next generation of orcas is an insight into what these magnificent mammals need in order to survive. Victoria Gill, BBC News.